In this video, I am gonna take you to hell and back trying my hand at creating a giant chalk art optical illusion. Let's bring hell right here. This video is brought to you by Diablo 4. Diablo 4, Tom! I'm so excited that this, this whole studio is sponsored by Diablo 4. So Insert Art did an awesome like creating their own demons for their own hell. Tabletop Time has created the stony peaks in a church that has had a visit from Lilith herself. And I'm gonna make a portal to hell using chalk. Now, I've never tried it and I don't know if I'll be good at it, but you know me, so probably let's go. So this camera you're looking through now, I have on this TV here, and I also have on this little monitor here. I wanna continue these bricks. It's sort of the perfect thing. I've got this perspective reference with all these lines coming on the different angles, and it's sort of giving us a clear sense of height. So step one is to lay out the perspective as if it was continuing down. We're gonna start the optical illusion. All right, I have a secret weapon, you ready? This is my main reference. See that line right there? Got this line with those bricks. All I have to do to get that right is give myself a guide. And speaking of lines, we use a chalk line to make our little lines. I'm not lying to you. Let's do, let's do steps first. All right, this is a step. Oh, it's, it's starting. And we go down and look at that. We've already got lines to follow. Boom. Like how cool is that? Like that's gonna be really fun for people to like get their tourist photos. Now I need to make sure it's gonna end up picking up where it left off. This is my perspective guide for the stairs. I think that feels pretty good. So now I need to brainstorm how to make it interesting. It's worth the pain. This is so cool. Ah, this is this is pretty cozy. Look, look at this. It's not even art yet, and it feels real. Hello! Are there any demons down there? Well, of course there are demons down there because Diablo 4's here. If you, like me and the millions of other people who have enjoyed all the other installments of the Diablo series, you have so much to look forward to in Diablo 4, which has just launched. Presenting a whole new way to experience the series with meaty single player campaign and a shared and open world playground with no loading screens and optional group dungeons and world content. Enjoy the variety of epic classes you're familiar with and some new ones of course, and join the ultimate dark fantasy action RPG with endless evil to slaughter. I had the opportunity to play the beta and I loved it. Every second, I am so, so excited to play Diablo 4 and I know you're gonna enjoy it too. So check out Diablo 4 today and embark on the solo campaign or run through it with friends. Unlike the other Diablo installments, you can fully customize your character from their entire appearance all the way through their gear. And let me just say, the fine-tuned balance of features and fun in the gameplay and style is just absolutely hitting the nail on the head. And it's available now for you to play globally on PC via Battle.net, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. There is so much to look forward to and I can't wait to see you in hell in the best possible way. Make sure to check out the link in the description and a huge thank you to Diablo 4 for sponsoring this video. Now, as you can see, I've laid the groundwork. This is gonna make the rest of the job a lot more straightforward. I'm basically filling in the lines. Ooh, 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 I'm jumping the gun. Before I do the color and painting, I need to add some monsters to this scene. It's not a Diablo dungeon without monsters. Ah! It's the next day, I'm ready to jump into it, but there's a couple of tweaks I'm making. First of all, I had these lights for the wash. I think that one's enough. So I'm gonna get rid of them, mainly because they're in the shot. And I kind of would love 100% of this shot to feel like the dungeon, which is why I got another one of these. Cause we just got this patchy area here, which looks like a ledge that you'd bump your head on if you were coming down the stairs. <laughs> But if I get rid of it ah, and put in another one of these, I'm hoping I can fill that gap. It's the immersion element that I'm finding so satisfying and I was just waiting to be filled. So I'm gonna continue that brick pattern and I'm gonna sketch in some monsters cause it's not Diablo and a descent into hell without monsters to fight along the way. And then 
we finish the dungeon. Oh, and I wisely actually got knee pads for today because my God, my back and knees. Oof, it is hell. Good news and scary news. The good news is I've got all the blocking in. The scary news is I've got one day to get this done in time for it to be ready for when Lilith arrives. That's right, the daughter of hatred is coming. I'm very excited, but I really want to do a good job. So I just need to sink my teeth into it and dive into the dungeon. It's going to start off smoother because I need a gradient from our real wall into our dungeon, but it's going to get darker and scarier and grittier all the way down to these allusions to blood and bodies, which will be hard to sort of see because it's going to be quite dark down below, which will hopefully feel really deep all the way down there. Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. I hope it looks cool, because I have high expectations for this and it's working so far. So cross your fingers. Let's go. I've done the lighter part of the wall grading it. Now we're getting into this sort of mid gray area and then it's just gonna get darker and darker. Problem is, I can't go backwards. So I've had to do a bit of repair work because whenever I need to like lean over, like see that spot there? Like I'm leaning over and then I'm going back and there's my knee. There it is right there. You know, it's very fragile. <laughs> so I need to try and get the sections right as I'm moving. And it also means I can't do too much of areas and go back to others because I can't reach this torch and the goblin if I keep going with the wall. I need to do it kind of all like a, like a printer, like all in the one level. So I'm moving down evenly. Here's the other fun update. Knee and back pain. You know, that's just the beginning. Wrist. I didn't think, cause I'm all the time I'm like leaning all my weight to reach on, the, on this arm. <laughs> Going through hell. It's pretty satisfying though. I am having fun. Now filling in the bricks was pretty straightforward, but it's here where I'm starting to actually put things in the scene that it started to be harder and matter more. With that said, it was also becoming pretty apparent that getting that 3D feel and having things stand out was a little more straightforward than I expected if the lighting was just right. Now, because this demon is directly in front of a torch, a sharp yellow edge light in the direction of the torch really makes it pop and brings it all together. Then I added a strong intensity in the shadows, blended it all with my hands, and actually it was shaping up pretty well. Okay, all right. I think, I think I've done this section. I've sort of worked ahead a little bit. I have to work around that now going up to the rest and down. It's weird. It's like, it looks horrendous in person because it's like stretched in weird ways. It looks okay in the shot, but it's not like my best creature drawing. So I'll probably be able to like nip and tuck and change it a little bit later. But I also think it's going to make much more sense when the environment sort of starts to hug it a little bit. And it'll all sort of blend in and then I can add those details and finishing touches. Oh, I'm complaining like an 80 year old in this video, but my old bones, I swear, I wasn't meant to go to hell. Actually, I don't know that. Maybe I was. Time will tell. Yeah. Now we really begin the descent into the crypts of hell and the real focus here is the gradients from that light white brick. At the very top of my shot, I need to descend into a very dark black, but it still needs to look like it's the same kind of brick. So slowly blending as I go down, mixing towards greys and then eventually blacks and also starting to introduce some subtle heat into my mixes, a bit of red because there's going to be lava at the bottom of my dungeon. I have a full vertical slice top to bottom in the dead center and it does what I was hoping it would do. It really ties all of this in together. And I'm loving that wherever there's like a sharp highlight, it makes all the difference. I obviously don't want to overdo it because that will get too busy, but it really makes it pop, especially down here, which is a little glimpse of hell. So we've got this hot orange of where the lava is below here. And we've got this sort of like warm tinted stone edge 
here. And you can see it's sort of, they sort of blend together. It's hard to distinguish the difference between the two. As soon as I add this hot, sharp yellow line, we can see the edge of the stone and accentuates the heat of our hellscape below. <sighs> that feels good. Now on the one hand, this is where it starts to relax a little bit on me because a lot of this is in darkness and can also be pretty fuzzy. But at the same time, I need to make sure that I'm getting the perspective right. Because if anything starts to lose its shape or perspective, we break the illusion. Fortunately, I have that hot lava coming up from underneath, which is really gonna just help move the attention around in interesting ways and give me the opportunity to add some cool rim lighting later. I keep wanting to call it done. And then I keep seeing one more thing that'll just make a lot of difference in there. Well, a little difference. I'm just, I'm having fun. It's crazy, but I've done the dungeon. I've done the whole depth thing, which leaves two finishing touches. First, the step that you descend down. I want to sort of tie that in color-wise to match with this. And this will also be one of the most three-dimensional looking things because there's just hard edges with different light hitting it. So it'll look really, really 3D. The second is set dressing. We have a delightful array of props that I'm going to uh, scatter around there because even though that corner is empty and just looks like a room, it's still part of the dungeon and it doesn't have to look like the corner of an the studio room. So with the right props, it'll tie it all together. To really complete like the literal space transformation, I wanna just put a couple of tiny things in front of the lens, just like to create that depth of field, to have something in the foreground and hide a couple of the seams. I think it'll be really cool. At this point, I kind of had the, the hang of it. It was actually starting to really work and make a lot of sense to me. And as much pain as I was in doing this, it was a lot of fun and very satisfying. I am sorry for talking a lot about the, the pain part of this. I know it's like a bit of a downer and I'm just repeating myself, but it was a genuine struggle throughout the recording of this video and the creation of the artwork. But I really feel like it's making this a very earned outcome. And I'm really loving where this is heading. This bit was the most satisfying, most rewarding, and absolutely the easiest. I just needed to blend the top of the steps to be a similar color to the ground that I'm gradienting up to, and just pick a darker color for the front of the steps and something a bit different, maybe with a bit of heat, reflecting the lava on the sides. Tying those all in together, blending them, adding a little bit of occlusion where the steps meets the wall by blending in a little bit of shadow. Really simple stuff in the grand scheme of this artwork, but honestly, in my opinion, absolutely the greatest impact on the results. All that's left is to put a few little props in place to make the rest of the room look like we're in a dungeon. And I thought it would be interesting just to add a few little popsicle sticks that I'd stained as close to or directly attached to the lens of the camera that this perspective shot's from, just to have a few wooden beams masking some of the areas that have some gaps, but also framing the eye and making the whole piece look like it has foreground, midground, and background. We did it. We made hell. Uh, I am really excited. I'm gonna wash up. I'm gonna, I don't feel like I can enjoy this in a satisfying way unless I am costumed up ready to delve into the dungeons. We've got crypts to explore and I'm gonna feel like an adventurer. However, the real payoff is also gonna be seeing other people enjoy seeing themselves step into the descent to hell. Holy moly. Oh, that's so good. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, that's such a cool effect. Are there any like unique items down there? Cause I'm not really equipped to take on a freaking demon. All right, we good. Ooh, this actually makes me very dizzy. Whoa, I, whoa, that's, that, this hurts my brain. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, ow. Bro, oh God. Okay, and we're crouching. Oh, that's cool. I don't think I could be a warrior. I think <laughs> Dave and Liam had it far more than I did. Oh! <laughs> well, I've got a slight sense of vertigo right now. And after days and days of torture and torment, we descend into the depths of the catacombs to fight 
the minions of hell! Ah, oh, this is pretty bloody cool. I am so chuffed with this. And all the little things like the, like the light coming from that doorway and just the sharp highlights on the edge reflecting the lava, the, the gradient from the light to the deep dark. This was definitely the biggest challenge I've taken on in a long time. And one of the most satisfying results I've enjoyed in ages, if ever. This was so much fun. I am just so happy with the result. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I feel like this is one of those pretty satisfying things to watch, hopefully. And if so, and if you appreciate the pain I've gone through, please consider leaving a comment. I'd love to know what you think. And in general, it really does help the channel. It lets YouTube know that you like this stuff. And if you like this stuff, subscribe. Huge thank you to Diablo 4 for sponsoring this video. And I will see you in hell. If you get in Diablo 4, because I'm playing. Oh, long weekend. Okay, I'm gonna go play computer games now. <laughs> <laughs>